Welcome back to The Digital Bunch. I'm Dagmar and today we're diving into something monumental. What's new in the 3D world, you ask? Well, what if I told you Unreal Engine just dropped its newest update, version 5.5, and it's a game changer for creators like us. Let's whirl back to 2019 for a while. You're watching The Mandalorian and you're transported to a galaxy so real it feels like you're there. Fast forward, you take a commercial break and you see a sleek futuristic car gliding through a neon lit city. A city, by the way, that doesn't even exist. Remember when CGI was a painstaking process? It still is. Hours of rendering, static persuasion, and limited interaction. But Unreal came in swinging and flipped the script. It really did make things much easier. Suddenly, we had an engine that could handle photorealism in real time. So before we talk Unreal Engine 5.5, you've got to understand the legacy Unreal Engine has built into the community. Unreal Engine 5 was already a game changer with Nanite, Lumen, and MetaHumans. Upgrade that to 5.5, and now we're looking at enhanced virtual production tools, even more impressive dynamic lighting systems, and upgrades to their animation workflows. Whether you're working with hyper-detailed models or just want to preview in real time without breaking your machine, Unreal Engine 5.5 is your new best friend. So stick around, because today we're breaking down exactly what makes Unreal Engine 5.5 so groundbreaking, what it means for your workflow, and how it's shaping the future of digital content creation in 2025. Okay, first up, Nanite Virtualized Geometry. If you've been blown away by the infinite detail Nanite delivers, Unreal Engine 5.5 takes that a step further. Imagine rendering insanely complex scenes like sprawling cityscapes or dense forests filled with millions of polygons. Can you hear your system trying to process that? Unreal Engine 5.5 optimizes Nanite performance, allowing creators to really get visual fidelity without needing a solid server setup. This means game developers and artists can achieve quality visuals on a more accessible budget. It eliminates performance blocks, which is incredible for projects involving real-time applications like games or immersive VR. However, don't think it's entirely without its flaws. If your hardware isn't relatively modern, you might still feel the heat when handling extreme complexity. But overall, it's a big leap forward for creators everywhere. Next up, Lumen Global Illumination. Unreal's jewel when it comes to dynamic lighting. And in 5.5, we're seeing this feature get even sharper. Imagine light bouncing around your virtual world just like in real life more precise, more reactive and immersive. It doesn't stop there. Optimizations for virtual reality and augmented reality support VR creators so they can make beautifully lit environments that fully immerse users without tanking its performance. Plus, there are upgrades to hardware ray tracing, making it more capable and faster than before. And don't get me started on the new Mega Lights, which lets you add hundreds of dynamic lights without wrecking performance. Shadow casting, soft textures, textured area highlights, it's all here. Lighting artists now have virtually no creative limits. But to be truly transparent, fine-tuning Lumen for perfect lighting still takes a bit of work if you're new to that feature. Animators, it's time to get excited because Unreal takes animation tools to another level with 5.5. First, we've got major boost to Sequencer, Unreal's non-linear animation editor. They've added non-destructive animation layers, so you can tweak, override, or layer animations without messing up your base work, and that is massive. Now you can have a more controllable interface with better filtering and easier access to properties based on real-time gameplay. You can easily create dynamic cinematic scenarios that react to player choices, like triggering conditional state changes during interactive scenes or adding custom bindings for finer control of objects in gameplay cinematics. They've even added warp timing curves, so you can stretch or compress animation timing fluidly and do new deformers for effects like squash and stretch or realistic contact deformation. On top of that, MetaHuman Animator is now smarter than ever, allowing creators to generate realistic facial animations from audio alone. And yes, you heard me right, from just voice tracks. The depth this adds to character animation is wild. Whether you're crafting emotional performances for a game or blockbuster characters, we promise you, this is not the UE commercial. This update is insanely powerful. 
All right, and on to rendering. Substrat, Unreal's material authoring framework, has moved out of experimental status into beta. This means every texture, reflectiveness, and material effect is now even more customizable and compatible across all platforms Unreal deploys to. Then there's the massively improved Path Tracer, Unreal's ray traced rendering feature, which is now production ready. Whether you're working in film or creating ground truth references, Path Tracer is delivering Hollywood level final pixels. All right, virtual production fans, this is a big one. For those who geek out over tech, Unreal now includes SMPTE 2110 support, making workflows in virtual production even more seamless. Think broadcast setups with enhanced video signal processing. Unreal now enables seamless IP video signal flow with features like automatic detection and repair of framework loss, so your synced visuals stay solid. Also, the dedicated in-camera visual effects, so ICVFX, toolset is now available, which means smoother workflows and tighter synchronization with your setups. It also includes PTP as a timecode provider and OCO support for 2110 media, which means greater precision and stability for broadcasts on virtual set productions. For creators making the switch to SMPT 2110, Unreal 5.5 takes the headache out of the transition. Stability, speed, precision, it's all about giving you creative freedom without worrying about technical hiccups. And if you've got a VR headset laying around, virtual scouting tools are now OpenXR ready, so you can walk through your virtual set before you hit record. Talk about immersive pre-production. Moving on, imagine having pixel-perfect lens and camera setups every single time. With camera calibration in UE 5.5, that's now completely achievable. Unreal's new Solver drastically improves the accuracy in estimating lens and camera parameters. And here's the exciting bit. Overscan is now built into every camera in Unreal. Whether you're rendering with lens distortion for a stylistic effect or adding camera shake and post, your cinematic setups just got a lot more robust and flexible. Unreal has turned camera calibration into an intuitive process, freeing you up to focus on the creative parts and choices instead of grappling with technical obstacles. Better accuracy, fewer reshoots, more creative control, that's what this update is about. Moving on to animation, Unreal Engine 5.5 takes a leap forward with the upgraded modular control rig. This dynamic system is all about giving animators the ultimate toolset for creating complex, lifelike animations while simplifying workflows. By breaking down rigs into reusable, modular components, animators can now build and customize rigs tailored to specific projects' needs without starting from scratch every time. One of the standout features is streamlined animation workflows. This enhanced control rig allows you to modify and adjust rigs in real time, facilitating faster iteration and reducing the issues often associated with traditional animation setups. Whether you're refining subtle facial expressions or crafting intricate movement sequences, this system shortens the time between creativity and execution. Another highlight is its seamless integration with other tools within Unreal Engine. The modular control rig works hand-in-hand -hand with Unreal's motion capture capabilities, making it easier to import motion capture data and integrate it directly into your project. This means smoother transitions between live performance capture and the final animated result, saving both time and effort. For character animation, the benefits are immense. Animators now have greater flexibility to experiment with new ideas, tweak poses, and add nuanced touches to their models, all while maintaining full control. Mobile creators and artists, Unreal's latest updates are designed to supercharge your workflows. The new mobile forward renderer brings console-grade visuals to handheld devices with features like capsule shadows and Niagara particle lights. On the creative side, the color grading panel, now open to all projects, offers intuitive tools for perfecting your scene's look directly in Unreal. It supports post-process volumes, cine cameras, and color correction regions, letting you tune every detail without external software. If you're dialing in stunning visuals with seamless color workflows, these features deliver efficiency. If you think Unreal Engine 5.5 is exciting, wait until 2025. Unreal has hinted at even deeper AI integration, giving creators the ability to implement ultra-responsive environments and procedural generation with a few clicks. Imagine creating entire cities on the fly with realistic citizens walking around and responding to the weather simulation. 
we're also expecting more innovations in virtual and augmented reality. Unreal is spearheading real-time collaboration across designers, engineers, and creatives, which could reshape industries. And here's my take. Unreal Engine isn't just a tech tool. It's shaping the creatives of tomorrow. Whether you're an artist, a filmmaker, a marketer, a developer, this tech really isn't just updating, it's evolving and how you think about creating. All right, here's the bottom line. Unreal Engine 5.5 changes the game in designing, developing, and creating. It's faster, sharper, and full of tools that make the impossible possible. Sure, it might not run perfectly on lower systems, but all breakthroughs need some catching up. My challenge to you, go download Unreal 5.5 if you haven't already and test it out. Experiment, just see what's possible. The future of content is happening right now and don't miss it. Thanks for tuning into The Digital Bunch. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below about what exactly excites you about Unreal Engine 5.5. Honestly, we love hearing about your projects, so let us know what other new tools you find fascinating that improve your workflow daily. Keep creating and until next time.